It's the House of AC and I'm Alan Corey. Thank you for joining me. And today we're gonna to talk about how to get out of your timeshare. Oh, I know you're probably stressed if you're watching this video. You've probably spent a lot of money, missed a lot of vacations. You are not alone. I'm gonna help you out here. All right, first I gotta prep you. It's not gonna be easy. It's gonna take some legwork. It'll take some money, unfortunately, but it's gonna be money well invested if you do it correctly. So. First of all, timeshares are not real estate investing. This is not something you want to pass on to your children. Although the very convincing salesmen tell you this, it's not true. You might have learned right now this is not an asset that appreciates in value. This is a liability. You're just passing on debt and you're going to have this lifetime debt until you can shed it and get rid of it, which is why you're here. So how do we do that? Well, to be frank, you have to pay off your mortgage. It's going to be almost impossible to sell your timeshare if you owe anything on it besides your maintenance fees. You're really gonna to have to clear any mortgage payment that you have first. The reason for that, well, you have to accept the value of your timeshare is zero dollars. And that might be shocking, but if you go to eBay and look up timeshare, this is what you're gonna be competing with when you go to sell yours. Four Seasons, $1. Legacy Vacation Club Spa Resort, Timeshare. All I did was search Timeshare, $1. Woodstone, Surrey Grand Canyon Resort, one bedroom, $1. Points, Palace, Palm Canyon, $1. And this just keeps going on and on for pages. Hollywood Beach Tower. So, if you're selling yours for anything more than a dollar, just know that a potential buyer has a lot of options for a dollar. And also, no, selling it on eBay is difficult or selling it with a real estate agent is difficult because they're never gonna be good as a team of people that swarm you on vacation and drive you around in their golf cart to all the different parts of the campus and resort. That, that's how you sell timeshares. So it's very difficult to sell it outside of that. But I'm gonna help you, there's hope, okay? There's people like you going through the exact same thing and thankfully they bounded together in a community to share their stories. So the number one place I'd recommend is hitting up TUG, Timeshare Users Group. And the website is tug2.net. Now, they're, they're gonna tell you and any reputable website is gonna tell you Moving forward, stop paying points. Get rid of the points that are going to give you different weekends or upgrades or different resorts. Just stop spending money at this point. You've spent enough money, so just stop that behavior right now if you do nothing else. Secondly, you have now been targeted as someone who might fall for scams. Is a timeshare a scam or not? I don't know. I feel like it may be misrepresented to, to buyers, but what happens now is that this, the businesses that circle this to get out of a timeshare also are kind of scammy and they've targeted these people who possibly got scammed before as easy targets. So I want you to be careful for that. And this uh, user group, Tug, uh, will sort of outline everything to be aware of. And that really starts with, at this point, to get rid of your timeshare, don't spend more than $100 up front. A lot of these services will say, hey, I need $2,000 up front, I need $5,000 up front, I need you know, X, Y, Z up front, and then I'll go sell you your timeshare, or then I'll go get you out of this timeshare. Those are scams, most likely. So just a rule of thumb, about $100, maybe 150 tops, that is the most you will give anyone up front to get you out of your timeshare. You may, and you most likely will have fees afterwards once it's done and all the paperwork's completed, but don't front any organization or company money to get you out of the timeshare, okay? But time, uh, Tug is an excellent resource. Um, second resource I'd recommend is Red Week. Both of these are very similar user groups. They're all full of people who own timeshares or trying to get out of timeshares trading timeshares, it's just basically it's timeshare owners talking to each other and that's who you need to talk to right now. If you happen to have Worldmark by Wyndham, this is your website, Timeshare Angels. That's their specialty. They only deal with Worldmark by Wyndham. And so if this is the situation you're in, this is where I would start. Um, and that's uh, timeshareangels.com. 
Outside of that, if you want a lawyer to look over your properties, or I'm sorry, your, your, your property's contract, and see if there's a loophole you can get out of, it does exist for some people. Or if you just want an attorney to give you information on your timeshare, I found that the most reputable one is Wesley Financial. And their website is timesharecancellations.com. All these people that I'm recommending to you, I have not dealt with myself. I do not get a referral or affiliate link um, or any sort of kickback. I've just done research for you. I've looked online, I've joined these user groups, and I got information that I'm sharing with you right now. And um, based on reviews online, Wesley Financial was the best attorney if you wanna go the attorney route for these things. Outside of that, all I gotta say is, hey, don't beat yourself up, okay? You know, we, we, we all make bad investments and bad decisions and we learn from it. That's important. I hope you focus on one, accepting that this is worth less than a dollar and it will take some money to get rid of it, but hopefully it's not upfront money if you do it correctly. And three, let's just focus on the good times that you did have at this resort and the vacations that you did go on. Because granted, you probably had some great times. It's just very difficult to have those great times year in, year out as your family grows and your life situation changes and you move across country. No one, no one can keep up this for life. So just focus on the good memories and you know, it'll probably take two to six months to get you rid of this, uh, get this out of this contract and, and get rid of your timeshare. So just focus on the finish line and good luck. And if you learn anything, please leave comments on my channel for the next person who watches this video and uh, we'll all learn together. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time on the House of AC.